Hey guys, welcome back to Vanguard Motor Sales. I'm Greg, and that is one beautiful 1965 Mustang convertible. 289 power under the hood, great looking restoration. We got beautiful red paint on here, beautiful chrome. We got the pony set up on the driving lights there, looking sweet as can be. That pony is shining. All that chrome looking great, man. And the body work and the paint work on the car is phenomenal. Just absolutely gorgeous car here. She is a beauty, man. And that paint is just as smooth and soft as can be. The body line here on the hood's looking real nice. Beautiful little car. Probably one of the most popular convertibles out there. You cannot find one of these Mustangs in this kind of shape very often. Most of these cars were worn out because people loved them so much, they drove the heck out of them. As you look down the side, the guy that did the body work on it knew what he was doing. She is straight as an arrow. I absolutely love it. We got great looking reflections in the paint. We got great looking trim here. We got great looking chrome. Magnum 500 wheels are really setting it off. We got a little bit bigger tire on the back than on the front. That door's lining up nice with the quarter there. Door's operating nice. And look at the door panel. Now you see some texture in the um, paint right here. That's actually in the metal. That came from Henry Ford that way. That's the way they built these cars. Of course, that uh, wood steering wheel, they did a beautiful finish job on that wood, man. That thing is sparkling. The dash itself is in beautiful shape. Looks like it's got an aftermarket radio in it. We've got great looking carpeting. It is an automatic car, which is super cool. We've had quite a few sticks in there. I know a lot of you guys like to put it in drive and put the hammer down and go to the beach. We got great looking upholstery on the seats. And then we've got that split bench, which is super cool with the armrest in there. Really sweet. Back in the day, that was pretty special. Got the luggage rack on there. If you want to put your uh, tent and your uh, lawn chairs and all that kind of stuff on there, that's kind of cool. Then inside the trunk, we got a car cover. And look at the finish on the um, inner wheelhouses on the back side of the quarters. Everything just looking sweet as can be. Uh, looks like we do have a spare tire in here. There's a spare tire. It's got a style steel wheel and that's a poly glass tire, which is well, that's what would have come in the car back in the day. So as a spare, that'll work great for you. The gutter system around the uh, trunk opening, all painted up looking good. Bottom side of the deck lid all painted up looking good. And look at that, see owner's manual for jack instructions. Isn't that cool? Man, that little sticker is so cool there. Now, as you look down the passenger side there, you can see the rake on the car. It's just a little higher in the back than it is in the front, so it's got a great looking stance. I love the little white stripe going down the side. We got um, some badging on there. It's got GT badging on it. She is looking absolutely gorgeous. Now at Vanguard Motor Sales, we do not do consignment. We own every one of our cars here. And a lot of you may be thinking, what does that mean to you? Most classic car dealers sell on consignment. They sell just about anything that'll roll through the door and they don't know much about the cars. Finding a Vanguard quality car isn't easy. Our team of 15 buyers review thousands of vehicles each month. Our inspectors travel all over the country to handpick each of our cars, which saves you time, money, and frustration. Think of us as your expert hands, eyes, and ears to make sure that you end up with the highest quality cars. We have almost 50 team members here at Vanguard, and every one of us is a gearhead. Growing up around the Motor City, all of our families worked in the auto industry. I grew up working in the garage with my dad, and we worked on countless classics over the years. Around here, Cars are a way of life.
is Mustang convertible time. Sorry we do not have the top down today, but even though it looks beautiful out, it is not very warm out today. That air is cool. But that's one of the cool things about having a convertible. When it's nice out, the top's down. When it gets cool out, you can put the top up and turn that AC on. Not AC, but the heat. <laughs> no AC on this one, that's top down. So this is a electric or hydraulic top. We've got a switch right over here by my left knee that puts the top down. Uh, it's got a little electric motor that runs a little hydraulic pump that puts the top up and down, which is super cool. The uh, switch for the fog lights is also right there by the top switch by my left knee. This thing is driving awesome. It's real snappy, I tell you. You lay into the accelerator, this thing will giddy up and go. She is a beauty. These cars are just so popular. Everybody has loved these since the day they came out. Super cool here. And then you can see down here on the dash, everything on the dash is nice and stock. We got the rally pack there. Uh, the tack is working on the rally pack. Uh, it does not look like the clock is working, but the speedo is working, all pressure light, uh, the amp gauge is on. It does have the stock radio also in it, which is super cool. And it being an automatic is cool too. Now to put the top down, there's a handle on either side right up here at the top corner where it meets the windshield. You just pull those two handles out, hit that button and the top goes down and you're ready to get some sunshine. Now I want to thank all of you who have subscribed to our channel. That's a big help. We've got over a million subscriptions now. We're well on our way to two million, so if you haven't subscribed yet, please do. And don't forget, we're getting in new vehicles every day, so check the website often. If you do subscribe, make sure you hit that little bell button and you'll get a notification whenever we post a new video. So we're back at our shop right now. We're located right here in the Motor City at 15100 Keel Street in Plymouth, Michigan. This building is where our team of 15 world-class mechanics inspect and improve every one of our cars. All of our work is done in-house. Our mechanics only service the vehicles we sell. We start with a thorough inspection and test drive. Then our team gets to work. We take the time to learn each car and fix the things that I would fix if it was mine. If that means the engine needs to come out, then it comes out. When you purchase a classic car from an auction or another dealer, in most cases it hasn't been inspected or serviced. You may be in for some unpleasant surprises. At Vanguard, we save you from the headaches that cost you time and money by handling this process for you. Right down the road is our 40,000 square foot indoor showroom. This building is climate controlled and houses over a hundred amazing vehicles. We're constantly bringing in new inventory so you never know what might show up tomorrow. We are underneath this Mustang now and it is clean under here. As you can see, the tank looks like it's been all restored, painted up. Uh, the exhaust looks like it's pretty much all new. Spring packs look like they've been all cleaned up. More than likely, these are uh, rebuilt units here. Uh, we got the Ford 8 inch rear end. I just rolled it over. It is an open rear end and it's right around a 280 rear end. So real close to three, so great highway gear. Looks like the shocks are new, looks like the U-bolts are new. Now on those drum brakes out back, our guys here at Vanguard will take those brakes apart, make sure they're all installed correctly, and make sure all the parts look like they're in good working order. It's got stock appearing mufflers on it also. You can see the center section's painted primer just like they did back in the day. We got new fuel lines, we got new brake lines running up here in the tunnel. Uh, this extra brace right here just came on the convertibles. You can see that the frame's all in beautiful shape here. The torque boxes are all in beautiful shape. These are all things you need to look at when you're um, looking at a Mustang. Uh, C4 transmission, similar to what would have came in the car. That's a three-speed automatic back in the day. Uh, power steering, and that's stock power steering. Everything looks stock up here. Then we got disc brakes up front. 
Lower control arms look like they've been replaced along with the ball joints. They come in the lower control arms. The uh, upper ball joints look like they are uh, been replaced also because they're bolt in. They would have been uh, riveted in from the factory. You can see the radius arm bushings here all look like they're new. Uh, we've got an aluminum radiator in here. That's aftermarket and looking good. And they've actually painted the back side of the front valance, which is cool. Uh, all the chrome here is looking good. The chrome on the uh, marker lights and or turn signals looking good. The uh, chrome on the bumper looking good. Then we've got my favorite tire, BFG's TA radios on these good looking Magnum 500 wheels. Now I know a lot of people are saying those don't belong on this car, but you know what? They look good on this car. 205 60 15s up front. So brand new tires, brand new wheels, and then when you look down the side here, you can see the painter was definitely not afraid to bend over. He got right down to the bottom edge. I always check the bottom side of the front fender here. You can usually get a finger up in there, make sure there's no patchwork or anything, because again, that was one of the first things to go on these cars. You can see the pinch weld looking good, the weep holes in the rocker looking good. I can still see numbers stamped on the bottom side of the rocker. Uh, I see new bolts in the springs here, so it looks like the bushings have been replaced. Uh, then out back here, we got a little bit bigger tire, 225, 60, 15 back here. And again, brand new tire, brand new wheel. I mean, the wheel well's nice and clean. I mean, this is one sharp car, inside, outside, and the bottom side. Let's get under the hood. Under the hood here, we've got uh, 289, and that would have been similar to what would have come in this car originally back in the day. You can see that they've upgraded the master cylinder to a later model master cylinder and the power booster looks like it's new too. So we do have power brakes. Firewall's all nice and clean. The wiring's all looking nice and clean. Uh, the paintwork on the firewall, the inner uh, fenders, the shock towers, all the paintwork is looking good in here. Uh, we do have an MSD, or, wait a minute, it says Edelbruck on the coil. Uh, stock Aperion distributor. It's got a four barrel auto Edelbrock. I can't say Edelbrock today. Um, so anyway, four barrel carb on there. Uh, we do have power steering. Uh, it looks like they've put one of those uh, tops on the battery. It make it look like an old fashioned battery, which is super cool. You can see the nice bright aluminum radiator here, all brand new. Uh, the alternator looks like it's a rebuilt unit. It's all nice and clean. Motor's been painted black, looking sweet. We got great looking paint on the bottom side of the hood. As a matter of fact, the paint job on the bottom is just about as nice as the paint job on the top, guys. This is one sweet little convertible, so give us a call at 248-974-9513 and let Vanguard Motor Sales park this little dream in your drive.